Welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to install the Oracle Database 12C. Installing the Oracle Database requires you to follow the order provided below. Create a folder on your C drive, name it something like Oracle Database 12C or Oracle 12C, whatever is appropriate for you. Then the second step is to extract the two files I described earlier into the same folder beginning with file 1 and then followed by file 2. Then the final step is to run setup and follow the on-screen step-by-step instructions. Let's begin the process. I named my Oracle Database 12C file and extract the file already and it's under database and the setup double click on setup. Yes, you want to make changes to your computer and you give it a few seconds and the welcome screen will pop up. I wish to receive security updates via my Oracle account and check this option. Click next. Click yes. Taking a few moments. Create and configure database is the option you select. Then next. You want to click the desktop class. If you are installing your database on the server, you will choose this option. But for this purpose, we will choose desktop class. Then you click next. Then you want to use an existing Windows account. So you will pick this option. You click next. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, we want to use a Windows built-in account and we want to continue. At this point, you will notice that uh, Oracle has automatically detected that I have included an expansion external drive. I do not want to install my software on the external drive, so I will change this option to be C. So I've changed it to C drive. And then you go ahead and change the character set to Unicode. And we'll enter the Administrative password as admin123. First letter is uppercase. The create as container database. You don't want to do this. And check this option. And then click next. This will take a few moments. On the summary screen, click install. And this would probably take 15 to 25 minutes. And we'll wait until it finishes processing. 76%. At 87%, database configuration assistant has started. This configures the Oracle database. Okay, database configuration assistant. This window shows that the creation of the database has been completed successfully. As you will notice, we have green check marks and the status says finished. And this is also 100% finished. So we will change the password for the system account and we will name them. We'll provide the password admin123. Remembering that the first letter is uppercase. We'll do the same. If you want to unlock other accounts that you want to use in your practice activities this is the opportunity that it gives you so you can unlock it like this by unchecking check mark giving the database schema the required password which in this case I'm using a consistent password so the two main accounts that you have to unlock here is system and sys so we have the same password typed in through out and I've also gone ahead and taken the liberty and unlocked the order entry schema which I will be using demonstrating other activities in the course right. click OK and then click OK here and the progress finishes and you will notice that the installation of the Oracle database was successful and then you just click close that takes care of the installation of the Oracle Database 12C.